Hello everyone, welcome back to Wake Up Charlotte Weekend. It is the last Sunday of the month. Blah, can't even talk today. Last <laughs> so Sunday excited of about the it. month. And it's Science Sunday. And this is the first one that it's Chloe's ever been here Sunday. for. It's my first Science Sunday. I am honored to be here and I'm, I'm excited. I'm glad that you are. So today we're making snowstorms in a jar. So my thought process behind this was we haven't seen snow yet in 2023. Mm -hmm. People are sad Sadly. About it. And because today is kind of a nasty day to get outside, at least at times, maybe a good thing that you could do inside with the kids. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding oil, water, and um, paint to this food coloring, yeah, and then paint to this jar. So I'm gonna walk you through it. Okay, so the first things first, I already put mine together because I want us to do them together. So you have water in here, it's a cup, okay? Yes, one so then cup. Next you're gonna add the paint, it's about a teaspoon. And this will all be on our WCNC Charlotte website if you guys want to. Is that enough? Yeah, I added a little bit extra for you just in case some of it got caught in the little thing. I did a little. So yeah, so basically because this is kind of a one-two punch with science experiments. So because of the liquid density of the paint, that's gonna fall much closer to the mm -hmm. bottom of your jar. And then what I want you to do next is add the oil. So that's the clear stuff. So I use baby oil just because I didn't want the yellow cooking oil yeah. to kind of mess up the coloring. Ooh. But if you have cooking oil instead of baby oil, you can definitely do it. So yes, yeah, so you pretty much want, to, once you add the oil, for it to get close to the top of the jar. So now you can see the oil settling close to the top. Mm -hmm. Now because it's clear, I was like, okay, this is making it a little bit harder for like kids to see the difference. So now add the food coloring. And what it's going to do is the food coloring is going to mix with the water and it will take a, maybe a second to settle. So the paint's really dense, right? So it's much closer yeah. to the bottom. Then you'll have the food coloring and the water kind of in the middle. And then you can see much clearer now that the cooking oil yeah, is sitting right on the top. Sure. Obviously, eventually it's gonna mix better and it'll look a little bit more like mine. So that's kind of science experiment explanation for the kids number one is the different density of subliquids. But the second is going to be what happens when you add a chemical reaction. Before we get there, just to give it a little extra oomph, Chloe, I want oomph. you to add a little bit of glitter to the top. When you just say a little bit, not fun. this whole thing. No, like you see, I only did Ooh, a that's little bit. A lot of that's it. a lot. And I'm going to add white. some of this color too. Yeah, we just want to be nice and nice. Just make it beautiful. Nice and pretty. So then the second part of the experiment, other than the liquid density, is what happens when you add alka seltzer tablets. So alka seltzer tablets are made up of acids and bases. And basically what happens is that when it reacts with the water, it will create those bubbles. If you've ever put alka seltzer in a cup, you know what yeah. I mean? And it's because it releases carbon dioxide and that's gonna be our snowstorm. So you're okay, ready. So half of together. One? We're gonna do half just to kind of see what happens and we'll add the other okay. half. Okay. Okay, it's a little slow to start. Well, this is live TV for you. What's Can gonna you happen? It? So it's starting to develop a little bit on the bottom. Let's add tablet number two. Okay. And I did it. Oh, there it goes. See oh, how yeah, it's kind of creating really the bubble look? Yeah. Okay, so I'm actually, let's open it a little bit more. Just because I think it'll be. And oh, this we're is going kind of rogue. Why, we're adding more. Well, this more. is kind of why I got extras, just to kind of see. But this is kind of the idea, you know, behind it for the kids. It's like the more you add, the more carbon dioxide, you know, is going to continue. And this is kind of the idea behind the snowstorm. See how it's kind of like yeah. creating the bubbles and it's pushing really them to the top? It's really starting to. And I think what's cool, too, is then you add more and then you can even put the top on. That's why I wanted to get these jars. I had the lid because if you put it on because it's carbon dioxide, it will get trapped and it'll actually shake it up a little bit more. And look at that. Wow. This is definitely fun yeah. to do with the kids. And you can kind of talk to them just about the different chemical experiments and stuff. Now here's a little tip is don't leave the jar on for too long because no. what will eventually happen is because you know, carbon dioxide is a gas, is that yeah. get trapped. And then, oh yeah, ka-ching. But you can see it's a little bit slow depending on how much Alka-Seltzer you put in here, but still a fun little thing to do on the weekends with the kiddos. Yeah, perfect for a day like today when we're gonna have some drizzle. Yes, so happy Science Sunday, everyone. We'll be right back talking about the weather forecast.